Hey guys, welcome to Red Jewel Art. I'm Jewel. I'm going to do a painting with this Valspar signature. Um, it, the color is charcoal and it is a satin paint. I end up with the clouds like I want in this paint. So while I put it on there, I will tell you it is mixed with Floetrol, Liquitex pouring medium and GHC and then water. My paints are mixed exactly the same. And I'm mixing it so that it's so thin that when you pull the stick up, it just goes right back into itself. There is no mound. I will put in the description how I mix my paint and I will list all my paints. There's my cute little dog running around. <laughs> All right, so when you're tilting, you don't have to worry about it getting the edges perfect because when you put the paint on the canvas, you're going to tilt again. So I don't worry about it too much, but I did run out of enough paint, so I had to mix some more up. And then I will go over all the colors as I add them to the canvas. I'm doing this one because people want to know how I get my triptychs to line up the way they do. So I'm going to show you in this painting. It's a real quick one. This one is called um, Phoenix. It turns out beautiful. I really like this painting. I actually considered not selling it and keeping it for myself, but... I think I will sell it. Mm. Alright, so the first paint right there is, well, that's still my base. The first paint I'm going to put on is my Amsterdam's Black. Not my Amsterdam, but Amsterdam's Black. <laughs> And you'll see that this paint sinks and goes cloudy. It will like a haze. It gets this haze around it, the edges. That's a good indication that your paint's going to work well with your base to give you those clouds or pearls, whatever you want. So this next one I'm using is um, Artist Loft's Raw Sienna. It's a little lighter than Liquitex um, it's raw sienna. That's why I'm using it. Then the next, oh, I add black again because I do want the black to be very prominent in this painting. So the next color I'm going to use right there is Deco Arts Rose Gold. And that's the metallics. And that right there is Liquitex Basics Naples Yellow. I love these colors together. They turn out so pretty. Alright, and that one right there is 24 karat gold, but it is mixed. Deco White's 24 karat gold. It's mixed with iridescent gold and a little bit of Naples yellow. I just didn't want it to be gold gold. That right there is Amsterdam's um, Naples yellow green. I love that color. It always gives me great cells. Alright, now I'm going to tilt. Oh wait, nope. That one right there is golden. Azel gold. Um, I just like sprinkle a little bit of this on because that color can really take over. But it is beautiful. All right, now I'm going to tilt. So when you're tilting, sometimes I'll take one side or the other. Most of the time I try to go for the middle. 
I'm going to torch and get all my bubbles out. But I do start with this side first. Um, if you're new to doing them, I would start with the middle one. So what I do is I start tilting. I get that look I want. Then I'll take my next one and I keep, see how I tilted that towards it so I can see where it needs to touch and to line up. And I keep checking that. And I could see it needed to come down a little bit, so I just start tilting down. And there you go, it lines up perfect. And then I'll do the same with this one. I just keep checking. That one was really easy to tilt, I don't know why. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna just take my palette knife and I pull out and give it some veining that comes out give it more dimension, give it more life. You know, just do whatever you feel. Look for the flow of your painting and just do you, boo. Just get it going and have fun. Get lost in the painting and enjoy it. I love doing paintings like this. It's so much fun. Um, if you guys find this helpful, please like and subscribe. Help me out. Uh, give me comments. Let me know what you guys think. I always look for people to give me advice or ask me questions. All of it's welcome. And right here, I had a hard time with that spot. I kept adding color and it just wasn't working the way I wanted. So what I did is... I start to take that pipette and I suck out some of that excess paint and then I'm going to mix a bunch of my colors and I'll I put it in there and it ends up turning really good turning out really good. So right there I went to go get the cup and I am mixing colors in my cup pouring it on and just gave it a little tilt but I was worried about tilting it too much because I didn't want it to ruin the composition I had already. All right, there's the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, thank you again. Please let me know what you guys think. Remember, be kind and rewind. Thanks again. Bye. See you later.